Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D. Lewis. So this whole Paul George saga is really just beginning as terms of which team is he going to sign with this offseason? Is it going to be the Los Angeles Lakers or is it going to be the OKC Thunder? Now, me still being relatively new to this media thing, yes, I have written for SB Nation fan side for a couple of years now, but still me being relatively new, when you have sources, sometimes they have their own agenda. Yes, I was tipped off on the fact that they believe that Paul George is committed to remaining with the OKC Thunder. That was a source they have from the organization like i said i don't know if it's 100 percent true or not they're just trying to get me to say something for public image anything like that so a lot of times when i do get some sources you don't know it's 100 percent if it's fact or not that's why i always say take these as rumor but something that we do know is that if Paul George does commit to the Thunder, and they do sign on. Paul George is going to want a max deal, of course. He does sign that max deal. It's going to cost the Thunder $115 million in luxury tax alone. We're not even counting the amount of money that they have for salaries and cap space. We're talking about in just in pure luxury tax, $115 million gone. That is a steep price, especially for an owner who historically is rather cheap he doesn't like opening the wallet that much yes he has been doing it more and more over the last couple years but historically really doesn't open up the wallet too much so historically a cheap owner is he willing to pay 115 million dollar tax luxury and that is like at the minimum so you have steven adams who's under contract russell westbrook under contract carmelo anthony under contract you sign paul george at that point you will have to get literally minimum players all throughout your bench and that will still cost you 115 million dollars so that's a lot of money and that could definitely throw a little wrinkle in when it's actually time to pay do you want to make that decision and pay that type of money for a team that might not win a championship so i think this postseason is going to be extremely important as to whether or not the thunder are going to re-sign paul george or not we don't know what paul george wants to do so that's interesting in his own right does he want to go back home to la or does he want to try to win in okc so a lot of dynamics a lot of things that's going to come out in the media and we really don't know what's going to happen paul george really does not know what's going to happen at this point either so we will see but i did want to point out the fact that if the thunder did re-sign paul george to a max deal they will pay at minimum 115 million dollars just in luxury tax is that worth it uh, it really depends if you're really competing for a championship or not as of right now i still think the warriors and the rockets are the favorites in the western conference so i'm not sure if this puts them over the top you really can't do nothing else with that roster if you do sign paul george so you might be at your limit in terms of talent and i don't know if this will ever make a championship team but you guys let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section below do you still believe paul george will stay in okc even if with the 115 million dollar luxury tax or do you think he's going back home to la let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section below it's your boy d lord i'm gonna see y'all next time peace